Uh, Jason Resedlo reporting for AmericaJR.com, being joined by actor Nicholas Downs. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you, Jason? Very good. So first, um, could you start off uh, by telling me how you got started in acting? Well, um, I'm from Iowa originally, and I started doing whatever I could there right after high school. It's a lot of local projects. I got a local agent there, and her name is Deb Copeland, and um, started doing some work there, did some local commercials, um, industrial videos, and a feature film came there called Harvest of Fire. Uh, I got to know the director on that. His name's Arthur Seidelman, and uh, kept in touch with him and decided that I needed to really move to one of the coasts, New York or Los Angeles, if I was really going to keep it up and keep, you know, make it go for it uh, as a profession. Um, and so I moved to Los Angeles because I kind of didn't want any more snows, uh, snowy winters because <laughs> I grew up in Iowa. <laughs> so um, I came out to Los Angeles and I uh, got an agent manager and just started working on my career and have been there ever since um, uh, working. And in the last, like, say about four years, uh, I've been had the, the privilege of just being able to just act uh, without having any other, you know, job or another source of income. Um, acting has been my my full income. That's pretty cool. Now, last year when yeah. you now last year when you came to the Detroit Independent Film Festival, uh, you had the big hit. Is it just me? Now, could you talk about the success of that film? Yeah, is it just me? Has been doing very well. Uh, uh, it actually won um, best feature at the Detroit Independent Film Festival. And uh, since then, it, after that, I got into, I'd say, about 45 other film festivals. And it's actually still getting into film festivals to date. Um, and this month into next month, it plays uh, in two different film festivals, both in Australia. Um, and, uh, and it had a, a really good DVD, VOD release. Uh, it came out on Netflix, it's on Amazon.com. Uh, TLA is the distributor, so it's also on their site where you can uh, get the DVD and you can also stream it there. Um, and also you can get it off of uh, Blockbuster and uh, many, many out, uh, online distribution companies. And it's been doing really well. It, uh, it got really good reviews. It ended up winning uh, other awards. It won um, uh, the Rainbow Award at the Honolulu Rainbow Film Festival. And and we had many, many screenings of it, and the audiences just really seemed to love it. We traveled around a lot. I went to London with it, and it screened in Cardiff, Wales, just outside of London. Um, at the Iris Prize Film Festival, and uh, it screened in Chicago and, and Florida and Hawaii and just all over the place. And it's been doing really well. It's been one of the top sellers for TLA um, online, you know, through DVD and for online. And so JC, the writer director who also did E Cupid, is extremely help, uh, uh, extremely happy about the um, you know the success of it. Michael Amato, who's one of the other producers. He's extremely happy about it, and he couldn't ask for anything better. You know, it, it, uh, we got together and did this film, and didn't have a large budget, and uh, but it had a lot of heart, and I think that really paid off. And it's been uh, a really good journey, and it's taken us to a lot of places. We met a lot of great people, and I'm still getting um, people emailing me and contacting me and telling me how much they enjoyed the film and how much it means to them, and even to date. So I think it, it's one of those films that will have a longevity. Um, and hopefully the popularity of it and the success of it will just help propel E-Cupid. Okay. Um, and, and it'll have hopefully the same kind of life. Yes, so let's, let's talk a little bit about E-Cupid. E uh, what is it about, basically? E-Cupid is, uh, what the JC sort of uh, origin of that was, uh, um, um, it's a wonderful life. Uh, and so he, that story is, is uh, gave him the idea for E-Cupid, but it's obviously a much more updated version that deals with technology. It's about a guy that downloads an app um, to find his true love, but the app actually is a guardian angel type app that uh, comes into his life in um, this sort of mysterious way and teaches him a lesson about love and life and gives him everything that he says he thinks he wants, but he soon learns that too much of a, of a good thing really isn't that great of a thing, and that the grass isn't always greener. And ultimately, what he really, really wants and, and needs is, has always been right by his side. Okay. Now, I understand you were one of the uh, co-producers for that film. Did you enjoy that more than acting? Uh, I'd honestly say 
say no, I did not, because <laughs> I, I love acting so much, you know, that's, that's my, that's my career is acting, and, this, and like, I'm working on a short film right now called Some Money, and I'm, I'm in, actually, this is my day off today, so that's why I thought this would be great for you and I to talk, but I'm just, I'm just, I love being on set in general, but I really love being on set as an actor. Um, for me, though, I look at the co-producing, there are parts of it that I actually do enjoy because you get to see other sides of filmmaking that you normally don't get to see as an actor. You don't get to see uh, the insides and outs and all the inner workings and, the, you know, the post of it all, the post-production of it all, pre-production. So it opens your eyes and your education up to a whole other, other world uh, of the movie-making process. But also I find it necessary as, as an actor to learn that side of things, to learn the producing side, to learn what I need to do in order to um, help my acting career, to propel my acting career, so that I can package products, find scripts, even write some stuff. I've uh, written um, a script and I've come up with an idea for another script that I want to be in. So now that I've gotten a little bit more experience and got a little bit, um, you know, um, more um, education on, on the packaging of films and putting them together, my goal is to take that, work with JC, work with other people that I've met along the way, and, and create projects that I can be in. And, and you know, it's like a, sometimes when you watch um, a trailer on, on TV as a commercial, you'll see the trailer, and at the end of it, it'll have somebody's name that you'll recognize, but you didn't see them in the trailer because they're getting involved in producing. So, like, you'll see Drew Barrymore, you'll see Julia Roberts or Tom Hanks or something like that, and you're like, they weren't in that trailer, but they are producing because they're taking sort of a career in their own hands and also some of the power. Okay. And also, ultimately, um, if you work it right, uh, there can be a lot more money on the producing side, too, because you get this, uh, sometimes you can get a bigger chunk of the, of the whole prize. Okay. Now, I understand it's going to be uh, shown at this year's uh, Detroit Independent Film Festival. Is this the first time it's ever being shown? Uh, I think so. I think this is going to be like a, a, a sort of a preliminary um, special screening that they're going to do. Um, and so it will be uh, one of the first times that, that audiences will, will be seeing it. So uh, and I think it's going to be back at the... Oh gosh, we're, I'm trying to think of the name of the theater that it was last year. Oh, um, the, the Burton Theater. The Burton Theater. I'm sorry. It's like uh, it's been it's only it's only been a year, but you know it <laughs> feels like all longer. <laughs> but the Burton Theater. So, um, uh, from what I know, it's going to be back at the Burton Theater, which was a wonderful venue to screen in, and uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful uh, eccentric place to see a uh, a film. I'm very different. And the audience uh, was really wonderful last year. It was a great audience, a really big mixture of pe different people from different backgrounds, and that was so neat to see. So we're really hoping that this year um, that it has that same kind of uh, pull to it. And that people who may have missed it to just me last year and want to see what JC, the filmmaker, can do, uh, then he'll be able to hopefully come around this time as well. Uh, last year, I know that Is It Just Me was doing so well that they actually added a screening. So it actually screened twice. Um, so hopefully that will happen the same same way this year with E-Cupid. Yeah, that would be great. Copyright 2011, AmericaJR.com, Detroit, Michigan, USA.